Hi, I'm Greg Stett and I'm a pastel painter. I divide my time between Salem and Cape May counties and this gives me a limitless supply of subjects to paint. I love the scenery and the animals and I try to capture the feel of both places. From boats in port, children at the beach, to fields with cattle, and my latest, an abandoned truck. This one we saw while driving on the back country roads not far from our house. I just love the character of the rusting old truck, soon to be entwined with vines. Working in pastel is a little different than a lot of other mediums as they're dry and colors can't be mixed ahead of time. It's a little like working with chalk. Pastels are pure powdered pigments that are held together with a binder. They come in various degrees of hardness. The soft pastels have the highest portion of pigment in the greatest selection of shades, creating the richest colors and the greatest luminosity. I use soft pastels and just look at the wonderful variety of shades in these greens. I also use pastel pencils for the fine details that I like, like the emblem on the old truck. The pencils are really hard to sharpen as they're much softer than a lead pencil and they break very easily. The surface used in doing pastels must be rough or have tooth in order to hold the pigments. To create the color you want, quite often you have to blend layers together with your finger. But keep in mind, you've got to be very careful. This is sanded paper and it can rub a little bit of the skin off your finger. So why do I like working in pastels? Because to me, they capture the reflections and light of nature, like the glow of the sun on sand, sky, or water, as well as the translucence of skin and the twinkle in an eye. I find my pastel painting to be both relaxing and challenging. I'm constantly trying to capture the essence of a scene or a personality so that you feel you're right there. That's why I have a passion for working in a realistic style. My goal is always to try to improve my technique with each work I do. The recording of intricate details, such as the ones of masts and spars in fishing boats in port, or capturing the wet mossy pilings in stroll at water's edge, keep me looking for things to paint from unique perspectives. Let me show you a few examples of my work. The first picture is in Quinton Township. The mirror-like quality of the lake enhances the perfect sense of tranquility. The reflections on the lake of the awesome fall colors and the way the light plays through the trees on the water made it challenging to capture the light reflections in detail. These chickens belong to a friend and are contrasts in not only color, but also plumage. This study in contrast captured my imagination. Thus, the title of this painting is Plain and Fancy. I love the seeming simplicity of this swan feather floating on Cape May Point Lighthouse Pond East. The fluffy feather and the duckweed on the pond created lots of minute detail. This beach toddler is at Grant Street Beach in Cape May. I love the way he's standing so still and pondering the ocean as he stays cool in his bucket of water. The title next to the last painting has not yet been framed, but thought I would share it anyway. It's my first attempt at a larger picture measuring 24 by 36. I really wanted to capture the texture of this guy's fur in his winter coat. I also sell most of my pictures in several sizes of signed limited edition Jique prints printed on archival watercolor paper. All prints come matted, ready to frame, or already framed. Plus, my latest is the small tabletop size that comes with its own stand. I hope to see you at the Arts and Bloom Studio Tour on our new date, November 28th and 29th. My location is in the Civil Art Bank. In the meantime, check out my portfolio of commissioned portraits, originals, and prints on my website, 